TDRA, Director General Majed Al Mesmar, Your Excellency Mohammed Azaruni, Dean of the 2023 Radio Communication Assembly, Madame Carol Wilson, Chair of the 2023 Radio Communication Assembly, Mr. Mario Manjevic, Director of the ITU Radio Communication Bureau. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is such a great honor to address this Radio Communication Assembly for the first time as ITU Secretary General. I want to express my sincerest thanks to the UAE, to the United Arab Emirates, for hosting this assembly here in Dubai ahead of the World Radio Communication Conference. It's um, another show of strong support from the UAE to the ITU's mission. Let me also congratulate our chair, who is the first woman to lead these proceedings in ITU history. This is a note of optimism, I would say, in an otherwise sea of alarming developments, including the dire situation in Gaza and in Israel, where thousands of innocent lives have been lost, including lives of United Nations colleagues, and countless others have been shattered and where civilians and civilian infrastructure like telecommunications are under constant threat. Let's always remember the positive role that radio communications can play in fostering lasting peace. Delegates, our work is technical, but the impact on human lives is profound. Never before has the digital landscape been so complex, and never before has the need for reconciling the slow progress of digital inclusion with the breakneck, the breakneck pace of digital transformation been so evident. There's so much untapped potential in supporting human development and rescuing our planet. The Assembly and the World Radio Communication Conference offer us an unmissable opportunity to meet this moment and to help us to deliver on the universal connectivity and the sustainable digital transformation objectives that the member states gave to this great union at the last plenipotentiary conference. PP22 adopted resolutions related to the crucial work of this assembly, not just for our strategic goals, but also for the achievement of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We see it, for example, in the new resolution highlighting the importance of long-term sustainability when it comes to spectrum and satellite resources used by satellite services and space services. Put simply, the vital work of the ITUR study groups helps to propel the ITU forward, making us both fit for purpose and fit for the future. And it's getting global recognition, as we saw this year when ITU received an Emmy Award. And congratulations to study group six for winning a third Emmy for ITUR. You've made the entire ITU family very, very proud. Ladies and gentlemen, this moment has been four years in the making, and it's about shaping our digital future with the needed working methods and procedures of the radio communications sector, the recommendations, and our future work program and activities. It's about tackling some of the world's biggest challenges when it comes to radio. I know that we can count on your spirit of cooperation, of collaboration, and unity. The spirit inherent to ITUR study groups, bringing engineers, manufacturers, service providers, regulators, academics, policymakers, all together. 
We need this more than ever to meet the rapid needs, the rapidly changing needs, I should emphasize, in our increasingly digital world, to accelerate progress on the SDGs, and to ensure that everyone, everywhere, has meaningful access to life-changing, to the life-changing potential of digital technologies. I thank you very much.